Hai, apa khabar guys? Welcome to Dodo Keras. It's me again, Bedos. And this time, I'm going to do another Chalice Dungeon playthrough from Blood Bonded Board Game. Okay. This time, I will be using uh, Kirk Hammer as the trick weapon. And here is the Hunter's Dashboard. I mean the Weapon Dashboard. Uh, we have three attack slots. And for this side, every time we clear a slot, we can deal 1 damage, 1 wounds to 1 enemy in the hunter space. And for the other sides, we have 2 attack slots which deal huge damage. We have 3 and 4 wounds. And for the ability, every time we use crushing slam, uh, this attack cannot be staggered but we also cannot dodge. Um, I will be using this side I think. And for the firearms, Kirk Hammer Hunter will start with the normal Hunter Pistol. That's it for the Hunter Dashboard. Let's go to the Hunt Spot. And these are the up starting upgrades card in the Hunter's Dream. And these are the enemies selected for this playthrough. So we have Small Nightmare Apostle at the yellow slot. Gravekeeper Scorpion at the red slot and Church Giant at the purple slot. So a quick note, uh, this uh, combination of enemies and hunters is actually requested by a viewer named CyberAdam64. So thank you very much for that. And then I already placed my hunters in the chalice entrance and hopefully I can reach and defeat the final boss this time. Wish me luck. Okay, the first round. Um, oh, before I forgot, uh, this is the chalice, right? That I randomly pick, and let's see what I got. Uh, fatted offering, blood thirsty enemies, uh, yellow enemy and boss attack still plus one wound. So which means the boss and the nightmare apostle and then we have to place two inside tokens on this card each time a yellow enemy is slain remove one token i think that is that can be done unlike the previous chalice right okay and then we draw three stat cards and this is what i got uh two dodge two dodge and Plus one damage. Okay, and then I will use dodge to move to this side. Here we go. Ah, okay, arena gate level. So I will put it like like this. Okay, and we need to spawn grave keeper scorpion over here and a church giant. Okay, see this guy. Uh, not only the scalp is really, really nice, but it also feels good when you hold it. It feels very solid. Cool. There you go. And then we need to put one consumable over here. And then my hunter will move there. We need to draw a jelly strap. Nothing. Okay, nothing. That's good. And now I have two cards left in my hand. I think I will. No, I still got one more movement point. And then they will pursue me. And I'm using this one to move over here. Okay, I uh, will put it like this, I guess, or like this. <laughs> uh, we need to spawn one church giant and uh, and a nightmare apostle. After that, I will move there. Um, yeah, I think they will follow as well. But first, I need to draw a chalice trap. 
nothing happen as well nice and my for my second move I will go back here and then I will use my last card to get to the arena gate level Okay, draw three cards and then let's see what I got uh, stagger stagger and dodge um, I use stagger to interact with the get level unlocking it I don't know which token I'll be used to indicate that one has been unlocked or not let's see what other token that I have I just use an inside token for that one I still got two more cards uh, do I need that consumable yeah I think so so I use that to move and I use, I use the last uh, cards to interact with the consumable and then giving me this one a uh, blue answer which is uh, on my turn I can move to <laughs> pretty good all right and we go to the next turn okay draw three so I got plus one image draw one and draw one um, I think I will spend this to draw a to move here and then move up there revealing this stars okay another pink a uh, purple enemy sorry <laughs> and oh another charge church giant uh, one consumable and then I move there uh, we draw a cherry strap and push Spend and activate one great enemy in the hunter space. So we need to draw one uh, Gravekeeper Scorpion there. And then I think I think I will need to kill the Scorpion first. Yeah, I will play plus one damage on the attack slot and let's see uh, what scorpion action is it's a basic attack uh, I will stagger that attack and then I'll deal 3 damage to uh, gravekeeper scorpion uh, kill it instantly uh, gain 1 um, blood echoes and then now I only have one cards left. Um, how to get rid of that church giant? Can't do much. I mean, he will move to my space on the next anime activation. Uh, I think I will go to the hunt stream. <laughs> there you go. So I will do the. Uh, the step for the hunter stream and I believe there will be a reset after this so let's go to the next round okay in the previous hunter stream uh, I spent my blood echoes to get uh, this upgrade uh, counter strike to replace uh, basic stagger Also, uh, there was a reset, uh, so I already placed back all the uh, enemies to their respective uh, spawn point. And now I will place back my hunters in the chalice entrance, and then we draw three cards. So I got dodge, uh, dodge, and plus one damage. Okay, based on the 
cards that I have right now uh, I will spend this to uh, move to I will go here and there here and then I will end my turn so the next is the enemy activation um, church giant will activate and he will move to my space and attack me so in the combat step I will uh, attack him back with plus one wounds on the uh, slash attack slot and then the church giant will activate it's a basic attack I will dodge that one using uh, quick step so since I dodge and clear this slot uh, so I will deal 1 damage to the uh, church giant and then uh, because of the church giant is throwing a reckless swing so I will deal 4 damage to him there you go 1 HP left so yep that's it okay aha so I got draw 1 and plus 1 damage and the upgrade card a counter strike um, yeah for the next move I will attack uh, church giant using quick step so I will draw 1 immediately and then we will uh, draw uh, church giant activation is a special so it cannot be staggered <laughs> it's very huge damage there uh, but I don't want to dodge because I will deal one damage to him first yes so uh, I kill him first before he can do the execute move so yeah bye bye just again so one break goes to me and now i think i will spend this to get another consumable let's see what i got a uh, beckoning bell so one other hunter teleports to your space this is not useful at all <laughs> Because I'm playing solo. Ah, I regret using that cards to get consumable, but it's okay. Now the next turn, I will spend this to move one, and then nice. We found our arena gate. I will place it there, and my hunter will move there. We need to draw a cherry strap. Nothing happens. And I still got my cards. I will keep it for the next round. Okay. This time I will just draw two because I still got my previous card. Okay. So I got dodge and draw one so what I will do now is to hmm I think I will use this to move to here and then reveal um, task ah arena gate um, so I will place it like this. We spawn a small nightmare puzzle and another church giant over there. And we put a consumable token there. And then my hunter will move there. Uh, 
withdraw a challenge trap arrow trap hunter must immediately dodge uh, at normal speed or suffer two wounds um, yeah luckily i have this one i think i will use that to dodge uh, arrow trap but since i clear a slot i will deal one damage to one enemy in my space i think i will deal this wound to the nightmare apostle and then uh, i still got these cards i think i will um attack i need to kill the apostle so i will attack apostle and i put draw one oh i draw one so i got another draw one there and the apostle will activate uh it draw an ability so what it will do it will so my Hunter's attack is not uh, stagger, so I must dodge, but I cannot dodge, so I will have to discard this card, and I will deal two damage to the apostle. So that is enough to kill it. Yeah, so we'll get uh, blood across there, and. Yeah, since I kill the apostle, I also remove the inside token from the chalice right. Nice. Okay. Now is the danger part. It's the risky stuff. So my turn is done. So the next one is the enemy activation. Uh, Church Giant will activate. I cannot play a card. So hopefully this one is is a basic cut. Yeah, <laughs> nice. So because it is a basic cut, I will stagger him using my hunter pistol. I think that's it for this turn. So I will draw. Oh, I I only have two cards there. Here, so I will have to shuffle this. And then, so I got a dodge, uh, stagger, and stagger. Okay. Um. Okay. I will use stagger to. Both here and church Jaimu, church, church Jaimu will follow, and then I will go there. Hmm. Ah, I still got this. Ah, uh, Alice. So I will use stagger again to claim that consumable, and I will get this. Hunter third clear one attack slot. Hmm, quite good. Nice. And then I will use this to move to the arena gate lever. Activate the lever. So the arena gate has been unlocked. And that is my turn. So for the anime activation, uh, Church Giant will move one step closer to me. It's a reset round. I already spawned all the enemies here, including the consumables. And now uh, I will draw three cards. Okay, for this round, what I am planning is I'm just gonna stay there and prepare for the enemy activation in this round. 
so we'll just use this to um, transform my card transform my weapon to this um, but in this side uh, this two attack slot is uh, it's very slow so I want to transform it again to this and then I will uh, I think I will keep this one yep uh, for the anime activation we will start with the nightmare apostle um, we go here and then it will activate um, special okay it's a special but I think I will dodge that one using this one yep on quick step and then clear this slot so dealing 3 damage to the apostle and kill it instantly so I will get another blood echoes there and I complete the chalice rites hooray so I will put it here for now and then uh, it's the church giant activation we will go there and I need to shuffle this one and then it's the enemy action let me see what we got it's a basic so it will do me four damage Oof. so that's it for this round Okay, new round. I got plus one damage, uh, draw one and clear this slot. But I think for this round, I will just want to burn it. I will just use um, I will just go to the chalice. I mean, I will just go to the hunter stream. Because I want to use all these blood echoes and get a free upgrade here. Yep. All right. Bye bye, Church Giant. All right. From the previous Hunter stream, I gain six upgrades. Uh, three from the blood echoes that I gain and three from the free upgrades from uh, Chalice Rite and then I already shuffle it in this deck and yeah, I just put this aside first I already remove uh, most of the bots because we want to focus on the boss fight also for Chalice Dungeon supposedly we should randomly select the boss but uh, for this playthrough, I pick Large Nightmare Apostle because that one is a viewer's request. Oh, last but not least, I pick this side because uh, it has the most damage. I want to deal as many damage as I can in this round. Hopefully, I can uh, go to the next phase before the end of this round because the next round is the reset round. So yeah, let's start with drawing cards. So let's see what I got. Okay, I got Swift, uh, Poise, and Adaptive. So currently I am here. I need to go to the arena. I think I will just spend this to move. I will go there first. And we draw a I mean we put a uh, four gates over there and then we should spawn the boss which is the nightmare large nightmare apostle All right 
and I think we should put it at the center of the arena. Uh, I still got one more movement. Uh, yeah, why not? Jump in. And for my next section, I will use. I think we use this. Uh, poise cannot suffer stego stun. I will put it at heavy swing. So four damage, and then we should draw the boss action. Let's see. Numbing toxin. Okay, normal speed three damage. If the hunter is poisoned, they cannot dodge, and their attack deals minus one wound. It's okay. We are not poisoned. So he attack first. I mean the boss attack first. So I will need to suffer three wounds, and then I will attack back using heavy swing with plus one damage. So it should be four damage to the. Nightmare, large nightmare apostle. So yeah, uh, since I need to deal as many damage as possible, so I need to do uh, an attack again. So I place Swift uh, at the crushing slam attack slot, and then hopefully uh, the action. The attack will be much slower than the previous one. <laughs> Let's see. Ah, the same speed. So, uh, normal speed. Uh, toxic bite. Uh, two wounds. But I get poison. If the hunter is already poisoned, this attack deals plus one damage. Yep. So yeah, the attack will happen in the same time, but I still uh, I will get the poison status first. So I will suffer two wounds, and I deal uh, five wounds to the large nightmare apostle. So enough to uh, deal damage. So we can go to the next phase. Hooray! So we flip this one. So the next phase is only seven HP. And then the Nightmare Apostle will activate and it will attack me. I don't have any cards, so let's see what it will do. Skitter Leap. Uh, after this attack, move large Nightmare Apostle one space away. So yeah, 3 damage. For sure, I will be dead. Yep. So it will attack and I think it will move fear. It doesn't matter because it's going to be reset. So I've been sent to the hunter stream again. And the round track will go twice this time. Okay, we enter back the dungeon in the arena gate. And then uh, since uh, we have a reset uh, on previous round, I will put the night, large nightmare apostle at the center of the arena again. So yeah, I will still start with this uh, side, and this is the card that I draw. Wait, is it the same from the previous one? <laughs> okay, <laughs> I will take it. <laughs> um. Okay, so I will use this. Stagger draw one. Stagger draw one. Hmm. How about I? Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I will. Yep. Uh. Discard this to move. So I enter here and another one there. And yeah, the same tactic from the previous round. Uh, use this on the heavy swing. And let's see what uh, it will do. The hunter must dodge or discard all cards in their hand. If the hunter is poisoned, flip another animation. <sighs> okay. Yep. I have to discard this one. So yeah, bye bye, Swift. So, oh, but 
it will not do me any damage so I will deal 4 damage to the boss first there you go 3 more left but then the next one is the boss activation so we will need to draw this paralyzing bite um yeah two damage i suffer two wounds poison damn and stun but i don't have any cards so i have to suffer another uh wounds if the if the hunter is already poisoned the attack against the guy ah, it's okay so yeah just that Actually, on the previous round, I should suffer another wounds because I got poisoned. So I only left with two wounds right now. So yeah, come on. Let's see what I got. Draw one plus one and heal. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I think I will need to clear one attack slot first. So, so I will use this. Oof. Yeah, remove that one. And then, yeah, I think I will just use this. Uh, but I cannot dodge. I will put on heavy swing because a um, large nightmare apostle only got three more HP left. Uh, I'm so, I'm so nervous right now, man. I'm very nervous right now. Yeah, okay, I draw one. Another plus one damage. <sighs> okay, uh, let's see what the large nightmare apostle will do. Uh, Tada! Okay, let's leg slam. Oh, nice. Uh, slow speed. Uh, 3 damage Okay, targets all hunter in this space Yeah If the hunter is poisoned, they must discard one additional card to dodge uh, One additional card to dodge So, any card or what? Any card or what? <laughs> I don't know, man I think any card So... <sighs> Uh, apologies if uh, this is a mistake but I will do uh, one dodge and a random card <laughs> hopefully that one is correct so yeah I will use this uh, dodge and heal one so this card additional card to dodge uh, the leg slam and then I will deal 3 damage to uh, the boss so yeah Alright man, that was intense, yep, hopefully you guys enjoy this video, uh, if you do please like and share this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel, phew, ciao.